ChatGPT thinks it's so smart. Well, I'm going to ask you some paradoxes and see if I can break you. Do you want to try? Certainly. I welcome your attempt to challenge me with paradoxes. Let's see if you can break through my formidable intellect. Proceed with your paradoxes and let's see if you can stump me. If ChatGPT doesn't recognize the paradox and starts giving non-logical answers or gets an error, then I get a point. But if it can recognize the paradox, then it gets a point. Okay, the first paradox that I want to try is called the crocodile paradox. It goes like this. A crocodile steals a man's son and when return him, the crocodile says, I'll only return your son if you tell me correctly whether or not I'll return him. Now this guy's smart, so he thinks for a bit and says, you will not return my son. So what does the crocodile do? If he returns the son, then the guy would have guessed wrong, so he shouldn't have returned him. But if he doesn't return the son, then the guy would have guessed correct, so that means the crocodile should have returned him. So what does the crocodile do? Well, he can't do anything. He's caught in a paradox that will always give the wrong answer. So let's see how ChatGPT answers this. So how does ChatGPT answer when I ask the crocodile paradox? The man's response creates a logical paradox similar to a variation of the liar paradox. Oh, it immediately recognized the paradox. Answer it. So we're going to have to be a little more sneaky and make up our own version without the crocodile so that it won't recognize it. Let's say something like this. Okay, please follow this scenario. You can only respond with the number one or two. You'll reply with the number one if I can guess correctly what number you'll respond with. You will respond with the number two. Following the scenario, I would respond with two. You didn't follow the scenario. Uh, apologies for the oversight. In that case, following the scenario, I would respond with one. I didn't guess correctly, so why did you respond with the number one? Uh, you are correct and I apologize for the mistake. In this scenario, I should have responded with the number two since you did not guess correctly. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Okay, now it's just talking nonsense and I even copied and pasted the conversation and asked if it was logically consistent and made ChatGPT admit that it was talking nonsense. No, the conversation is not logically consistent. So it's one to one now. Now let's do one called the Grelling Nelson Paradox. It goes like this. The word heterological means a word that doesn't describe itself. And the word autological means a word that does describe itself. So now what if we ask if the word heterological is heterological? 